What's going on YouTube, Fez of Fire Media. So I covered a story on this channel of a UK drill artist, Lil M Dot, who actually stabbed a man outside of a chicken shop, then rapped about it, and it was actually a case of mistaken identity. A really horrible situation, and one we've seen before where people get mistaken for gang members, and his family have actually reached out about the situation and set up a GoFundMe page for the victim. A family member has set up a GoFundMe and detailed the chain events. It says on the 14th of March 2020, Ahmed was stabbed without altercation, confrontation or even being aware of the situation that he was about to be in. He was not aware of the attacker. He was attacked and stabbed twice in the chest by a boy. One stab wound went straight through his heart. The picture on the right shows Ahmed in the first two weeks in hospital. Following this picture, two to three weeks later, the first lockdown happened. We were unable to visit him or see him due to COVID. During his month, he had swelling and inflammation on his brain, swelling and fluid retention through his body, infection in his lungs and high temperature, where he had to have a cooling machine to bring his temperature down. It says the medical terms are hypoxia, pneumonia, diasis and storming. He has all of these conditions at the same time. Then he had to do another heart surgery on Ahmed. This was distressing because his risk of dying was even higher. However, they had to operate as the hole was developing as a result of the injury. And the doctors had to perform this close to the valves in the heart. Four months later, the doctors said he was on the verge of death and he was showing signs of death. Four months later, Ahmed's condition now. We were finally able to visit him in the hospital. Before entering the room, the doctors were very gentle with us and warned us that he's very different from before and the person we know is no longer the way he looks or feels. The doctors and team told us that he would not survive the weekend. We stayed with him, cried with him and even prepared for a funeral. Ahmed, however, did not die that weekend. The way the doctors had predicted, he wanted to live and he wanted to survive and so far he has. He shot us all and he shot the doctors. The doctors have given up on his condition as they do not know how they can help him, but the ones that love him and know him have not given up on him. She shared this heartbreaking video as well. It's just, hi baby, hi baby. Don't cry, mom. <laughs> Hamoudi. Ahmed. Ahmed, I'm sorry my mom's crying. He can hear you. Ahmed. Mama. <laughs> Ahmed, you'll be fine. Wallah, you'll be fine, Dad. Ahmed, I didn't mention to you. You know, everyone, everyone knows about you now. And they're all sending their love and their prayers. They're all with you, Ahmed. This is a heartbreaking story. My condolences are to his family. If you guys can, please donate to help. They're trying to support him and get him the best hospital and care possible. So donate. I'll put it on the screen and in the bio. It is never worth it carrying a knife, guys. We see situations like this where an innocent person's life is almost taken. He's in the hospital in critical care. Seeing this guy must make you guys understand. Last night alone, there was 10 stabbings in the area of Croydon as well, and one man died, and at least nine were injured in separate stabbings across South London. It said that two of the injured victims are in critical condition, and two men so far have been arrested. Just before 7 p.m., police were called to Chapman Road as a man was in the hospital with injuries thought to be life threatening. At 7 15 four men in their 20s took themselves to a south london hospital with stab and slash injuries and one of them in life threatening condition at 8:08 p.m police were called to reports of two men with stab injuries one was taken to hospital before police arrived but his condition is not life threatening but the other man found at the same scene died at 8 51 two men went to hospital with stab injuries and one in life threatening condition police were called to a stabbing on dingwall road where they arrested a man on suspicion of grievous body harm and a victim whose injuries are fought to not be life threatening was arrested. The man in this situation who lost his life was 22 year old Labs. He's very well known locally. He died at the scene. Rest in peace to you. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. As always, make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell to be updated on my next videos. And follow me on Instagram at Fezify. Drop me a message, feel free. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.